The Earth as we know it is fast changing in ways that will make anyone panic. From strong heat waves, drying rivers, and large-scale disasters to the total unpredictability of the Earth's climatic future. But just when we thought the major problem was climate change, the Inuit has just issued a warning to NASA that the Earth is shifting. What does this mean? Keep watching to find out. We don't need a soothsayer to tell us that the world has drastically changed over time and that nothing is the same again. This is crazy, but a true fact. The world has grown into an era of uncertainty, and even scientists fear that we may be close to a major extinction from the Earth and may never recover. The signs are all around, and we can see them. Hence, no one knows how far life will thrive within the next 50 to 150 years. Everyone seems to be on their toes even as scientists continue to conduct their research. To help savor the situation as well, some initiatives to sustain the planet have also been put into motion, though we are still determining how well they'll work. The question is, what is really happening to the Earth? The world needs answers. So far, only one answer continues to pop up regarding our numerous questions, and it all points to the problem of climate change. For decades now, the issue of climate change has filled the lips of everyone and the ears of all that care to listen. It is a song that has been sung for a while now. Here, a change in the climate refers to nothing other than those long-term changes in the Earth's climate, particularly the increase in global temperatures that have been observed in recent decades, primarily caused by human activities, such as burning fossil fuels for energy and transportation, deforestation, and other land use changes. These activities must release large amounts of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide into the atmosphere, trapping heat and causing the Earth's temperature to rise. There is no doubt that climate change is a major problem in the world as it has caused changes in precipitation patterns, sea level rise, and more frequent and intense extreme weather events such as heat waves, droughts, etc., and storms. These changes have significantly impacted natural ecosystems and human societies, including food security, water resources, and public health threats. Following this, we cannot really doubt or deny the fact that the evidence around us has, in one way or another other, confirmed the hypothesis of the major problem being our being plagued by a change in the climate. But it gets more disturbing when we get to find out that there may be more to deal with other than just the climate change. But what if the problem that has befallen the Earth isn't just climate change? What if something much bigger and substantial, like the Earth changing its position, is the main problem? These questions would have meant little to anyone if the Inuit elders did not speak. What does this mean? As reported on Disclosed TV, the Inuit elders have given their opinions on why the strange events in the world are happening. And nothing has been more frightening than the news that they have brought to both NASA and the whole world. With the confidence that comes from a millennium of experience, these elders have issued NASA and the entire world a serious warning concerning what may be coming for the world in the future. They have declared that the Earth's main problem is not a result of a change in the climate, but a result of the Earth's shifting from its previous position in our solar system. Now, we know that so much may be happening in the world, which we cannot really explain but this theory is quite crazy and scary at the same time. But knowing who the Inuit people are, one would have to think twice to doubt their outright warnings, especially when it comes from their elders. After all, we must not take the wisdom of the elders for granted. So who are these people exactly, and why should we listen to them in the first place? What authority do they have to make such bold claims about the Earth's atmosphere? You probably have these questions. Let's consider a little about the profile of the people issuing this world to NASA and the whole world. The Inuit are indigenous people who primarily live in the Arctic regions of Canada, Alaska, Greenland, and Siberia. Inuit is derived from the Inuktitut language, meaning the people. In Canada and Greenland, the Inuit are considered one of the country's indigenous peoples, while in the United States, they are referred to as Alaska natives. The Inuit have a rich cultural heritage, a deep connection to their environment, and a unique way of life 
that has developed over thousands of years. Traditionally, they were hunters and gatherers, relying on the sea and land resources for their survival. They are known for their skill in hunting and fishing, and their ability to live in some of the harshest environments on Earth. The Inuit people deeply understand their environment and have developed a wealth of knowledge and skills over generations that allow them to read the climate and atmosphere. This knowledge has been passed down through oral tradition, with elders teaching younger generations about the natural world and how to live in harmony with it. One of the key ways the Inuit read the climate and atmosphere is through their observations of the natural world. They closely observe the behavior of animals, such as caribou's migration patterns or fish movements in the water. They also pay close attention to the weather and changes in the landscape, such as the thickness of sea ice or snow melt timing. Like all that has been said is not enough, the Inuit also deeply understand the stars and other celestial bodies, which they use to navigate the vast Arctic landscape. By observing the position of the sun, moon, and stars, they can determine the time of day, their direction, and the changing of the seasons. In addition to these traditional methods, many Inuit communities today also incorporate modern technologies and scientific knowledge to understand and predict changes in the climate and atmosphere. For example, some communities use weather stations and satellite imagery to track weather patterns, while others work with scientists to monitor changes in sea ice and permafrost. Another reason these people are really worthy of an audience when it comes to the Earth's climate and atmosphere is that they endure the most extreme weather conditions on Earth. This is mostly because they are the occupants of regions closest to the North Pole. Whatever problems we are facing in other areas may be in multiples when it comes to the Inuit community. And recently, things have also been quite awkward regarding the natural order of things in the region. You can see the evidence of this right from the melting permafrost resulting in beach slumping and lake erosions, increased snowfalls, longer sea ice-free seasons, emerging or invasive new species of birds, fish, and insects, barn owls, mallards, pintailed ducks, and salmon, near the community, a decline in the lemming population, a basic food for arctic fox and a staple species, and a general warming trend. Sadly, the ice is also thinning, making hunting more dangerous, and warmer temperatures have shifted animal migration patterns. The vast quantities of ice clogging the fabled Northwest Passage from the Atlantic to the Pacific are melting at a high rate, making it possible that the passage will be ice-free by 2050. All these awkward changes have characterized the region in recent times, and it is bad news for us all. These changes in their environment make traditional Inuit knowledge less reliable and endanger traditional lifestyles and the ecosystem that has supported Arctic peoples for millennia. Now regarding the location of these people, it is quite clear that if anyone noticed the changes in the atmosphere, it would be the Inuit people. And so far, on a negative note, the Inuit people are open to assert their claim to have noticed several changes in the atmosphere and this has led them to come up with shocking opinions quite different from the mainstream scientific complaints about climate change and overall global warming being our major problems. So, let us look deeper at what the Inuit people have to say to the world concerning the Earth's shifting position. Like he earlier said, the Inuit elders have come up with a strange theory about the problem of the Earth's not really being the changing climate and global warming but actually being the fact that the Earth has shifted in its position in the solar system, and so making things quite different from what they used to be before. According to them, the Earth has shifted or wobbled. This, according to them, is very serious as it has, in turn, caused the skies to change. The elders have also warned that the global changes in the Earth are not caused by global warming, implying that such beliefs should be dismissed. You should ask what facts they have built upon to develop this strange thesis. So here is their explanation. According to the Inuit elders, the sun has started to rise in a different position, which is not the only thing they have noticed. The sun, according to them, is also much higher in the sky than it used to be, and it now warms up more quickly than before. This likely explains the situation of global warming that we currently experience today, and everyone can relate to this.
Now, what will make you believe this claim even more is that all the Inuit elders, including those in the north, are saying the same thing. In one interview, they all agreed that the sky had changed. Explaining this, their traditional hunting culture comes into play. According to them, they like to go out early in the morning to be in place right on time to catch their catch. During this hunting exercise, they claimed that they usually had about one hour to do their hunting. But because of the change in the position of the earth, they now have two hours to hunt. The difference is quite clear. An interview with one of the elders from Resolute Bay also gives us deeper insight into the matter. According to him, the time change is noticeable, and the sun is now higher on the horizon than it used to be. He also admits to needing a full understanding of what the situation might be. However, he is certain that there have been changes in the atmosphere. He said he had lived his whole life in the area, and the sunrise had not changed a lot, but the sunset had significantly met with so much change that it was quite easy to notice. According to him, it now sets a long way over than it used to. He suggested that perhaps the Earth is tilted on its axis. Now, how weird is that? Another elder also confirms the claim by saying that the Earth has tilted. He also claimed to not know much but explained that the sun used to set very close to the highest mountain peak in the past, but that after the changes in the Earth's position, the sun now sets past the highest peak. According to him, the stellar constellations have also changed in position. As a result, the sun rises higher in the sky and heats more directly. These claims should scare you because it only means there will be a different experience. After all, there has been a fundamental change in the course of things. Another elder named Japati Paluk had more to say on the matter. Affirming the words of the others, he goes on to say that the earth has become much warmer, pointing out that tongue drift, which is a marker for travel, has also declined. The north wind usually made this drift, but this has also changed. Worthy of note is the fact that Elder Paluk is one skillful star reader in the region. He had learned to observe the ground to check if the stars were present in the sky over the years. He made use of this information to travel, but in recent times, he complains that he had noticed that the stars are now different, and that when he used them to travel at night, he found that they were no longer in the positions in which they used to be in. The Inuit elders, in one voice, seem to be drawing the world's attention to what might be our current reality. It is scary how they fervently posit that the sun, moon, and stars have all changed. According to them, this has affected the wind, and past weather predictions are also changing. Also, this change has affected the sea ice that used to be very thick when hunting for sea pulps. The Inuit hunters also said he complained that the sea may not be so cold anymore. But the Inuit's elders are not just complaining about the new changes in the atmosphere to warm the world. It is rather a matter of fact that they are also deeply affected by these changes. Predictions for them are now very difficult. The warmer winds are changing the snowbank as well, making the ability to navigate the overland even more difficult as well. The polar bear population is also increasing making them sometimes wander into the Inuit's neighborhood. There is no doubt that whatever the world is becoming needs to be paid attention to control any damages that this may cause. In the end, the Inuit elders have spoken, and it is now left for the scientists and the people of the world to do what they want with the information. In the meantime, one can only wonder where this is all leading, but then again, we are sure that time will tell eventually. Do you disagree with this? What do you think about the opinions and warnings of the Inuit elders? What will be the overall consequences of the Earth's shifting in position? Let's know your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, ensure to like, share, and subscribe for more.